Saturday night GOJHL action from the Fortress in Fort Erie. The Welland Junior Canadians looking to right the ship, facing the red-hot Fort Erie Meteors on Saturday night. First period, Fort Erie not wasting any time. Check out this solo effort. Cameron Golovin in, he fires and scores, and it's an early 1-0 Fort Erie lead. Golovin continues to stay red hot for the Fort Erie Meteors. A few moments later, still in the first, Braden Carruthers out front. He squeaks it by Charlie Burns. Carruthers gets revenge on his former team that he began the year with. It's all tied up, one apiece. Now one and change left to go in the first period. Fort Erie, Liam Beamish out front. Check out that shot. Beamish rips it. And Fort Erie will take a 2-1 lead to the dressing room after 20 minutes as Beamish gets his seventh on the season. Second period now. It's Blake Hall out front winning that battle. He spins it out front. Kyle Adamo tucks it in. Adamo gives Fort Erie some insurance. They take a 3-1 lead in period number two. A few moments later, cue number 40 again. Check out this shot. Liam Beamish again. His eighth on the season. And Beamish continues to roll on that top line for Fort Erie. It's now 4-1 to one Mets in the second. Emotions boiling over in this one. Nolan Sticklin, Carter Timmons drop the mitts as Sticklin takes Timmons to the ice. The two of them in a spirited brawl as the linesmen try to separate the two of them and they finally get them apart. Still in the second frame. Clearing attempt failed. Liam Beamish finds Hall out front. He plays it to the side of the goal. Kyle Adamo able to put it away. And Adamo with his second on the night. He puts Fort Erie up 5-1 in this second frame. And that's pretty much all Fort Erie would need in this one. They cruise to a 5-1 win over the Welland Junior Canadians on home ice. Meteors continuing to roll as Charlie Burns once again spectacular in net for Fort Erie.